हेलो व्यूवर्स लिसनर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल यूट्यूब चैनल बट रफीज लेक्चर माय नेम इज बट रफी आई एम लेक्चर इन जोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट्स एंड टुडे इज माय टॉपिक इज रिपेटेटिव हेल्थ हाउ वी मेंटेन द रिपेटेटिव हेल्थ इन ए गुड मैनर सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस बिगिन let us start this topic repetitive to health so according to according to who world health organization according to who world health organization repetitive to health means repetitive to health means according to who world health organization repetitive to health means total well being total well being in all aspects total well being in all aspects of reproductive reproductive of reproduction of reproduction physical emotional behavior physical emotional behavior and social and social according to who world health organization reproductive health means a total well being in all aspects of reproduction physical emotional behavior and social so the term reproductive health refers to a healthy reproductive organs with normal normal reproductive functions it forms a crucial part of general health in a central part of our general health a reproductive reproductively healthy society is a society with people having physically and functionally normal reproductive organs and normal emotional and behavior interactions among them in all sex related aspects sexually transmitted diseases stds sexually transmitted diseases that is aids acquired immune deficiency syndrome and syphilis gonorrhea etc these are the sexually transmitted diseases we separate through sexual contacts and from one individual to another individual it is also led to unwanted pregnancies you all know that unwanted pregnancies is very much important it is very much bad in our society today and in this means that premarital sexual intercourse and in before marriage sexual intercourse is on rise among the adolescents our youth in good many cases no contraceptives are used and this results in unwanted pregnancies in fact many adolescents many youth many our children are ignorant of reproductive anatomy how pregnancy occurs and use of contraceptives emotional crisis occur and use of contraception emotional crisis occur when pregnancy is diagnosed and decision have an abortion is made in a when girl attends the pregnancy his decision is to abort to make the abortion the pregnant girls then tend to give up education and suffer from loss of self esteem and pregnant girls often visit illegal abortion clinics to hide their actions and put their life in great risk very young pregnancy teenagers have higher incidence of anemia than these in the healthy in 20s their babies are premature and underweight and often have the respiratory problems and health problems 
frequently the father fails to provide emotion, emotional or financial support for the child and sometimes refuse to own the baby. So the single mother have a tough life. The adolescents may seek information. Our youth, our layman should seek information about pregnancy and use of contraceptives from family planning centers or our patients, our health centers or available in all the villages, all the rural and urban areas. So, so it is necessary to create awareness among the people, especially youth, regarding various reproductive related aspects. If you go for significance of this disease, significance of this reproductive, sorry, reproductive health, significance of the good reproductive health, significance or AMS. If you go for significance, awareness is provided to both male and female to lead a healthy and satisfying reproductive life if we aware the people and making individual and reproductive age aware, aware of fertility relating methods and third point is providing information as to keep proper hygiene of the private parts genitalia and fourth point is protection against the reproductive tract infections or, or, or the sexually transmitted diseases and fifth point is the planning. Fifth point is the planning children to the limit of enjoying family for rearing children with best resources as and when they are available. And sixth point is the obtaining treatment for reproductive disorders at the earliest to ensure a res responsible, safe, and satisfying reproductive life. And eighth point is the to provide sex education, to provide sex education in the schools, to save the young school goers from myths, misconceptions about the sex related issues. And 10th point is to provide awareness about ill effects of sex abuse, sex determination, sex related crimes. And now 11th point is to manage disorders related to reproductive system related to reproductive system to lessen the problems of infertility by promoting assisted reproductive activities ARTS assisted reproductive techniques means that there are so many techniques if, may, if male and female they can have to the child for more than 5 or 6 years we, we go for assisted reproductive techniques that is the automatic insemination that's to baby or gift these are the assessed reproductive techniques. Suppose the male have the blob of the flapping tube and the male have the algospermia, low sperm count, yeah, low sperm mortality, defective sperm morphology, and we go the artificial method of the reproduction, orbital method of the these reproductive techniques. To raise the marriageable, marriageable age, to provide medical facilities and support like infrastructure facilities, infrastructure facilities, professionals, expertise and material support to decrease the maternal and infant, infant rate. Infant rate. And other point is the problems associated with the reproductive health. Problems associated with the problems Ushrated with the reproductive health. This is the other component. Problem related with the reproductive health. Problem associated with the reproductive health. Lack of awareness in the people. First point is. And second is the number of myths and misconceptions. Number of myths and misconceptions are already told this point about the sex related aspects. Common awareness of sexually transmitted diseases, STDs, call it. And fourth point is rapid increase in human population. 
called the population explosion. Illegal abortion of female fetuses. You all know that illegal abortion takes place in our society. If any, if any illegal pregnancy takes place, we go for abortion. And under abortion is that if we see the inside of mother, there is female, we go for abortion. Illegal abortion of female fetuses because they do not know that the multiple sex partners, we get the STD, sexual transmission disease, we get the abortion. The, our youth, our puberty age generals do not have not the, um, knowledge of that. And another point that the genital and ejaculate and infertility. And now the strategies, now the policies are as ended. India was the first country in the world to initiate plans and programs for attaining the reproductive health as a social goal through family planning in 1951 1951 progress of the program has been regularly monitored progress of the program has been regularly monitored a more comprehensive and improved program was launched in 1997 it was launched under the popular name of Reverendu and Child Health Care or CH, it has three goals, three components, three segments. First is Reverendu Health, Child Care, Fertility, fertility Regulation, Reverendu Fertility Regulation. Reverendu Health can be improved only when the information is provided. To population about various aspects of reproduction, reproductive organs, their hygiene, cure, sexual transmitted diseases, maternity care, postnatal care, spacing of child for their better upbringing in a space of child. For child, it should be gap about two or three years. General first point in this. Problems of the state of reproductive health is general awareness. We should aware the people with the help of audio visuals, aids, print media, friendly health centers, WhatsApp, Facebook, both government and number of government agencies are engaged to creating awareness among about various aspects of reproduction. And second is our elders, our responsible citizens, social workers. It is duty of parents, especially. Other clues let you, teachers, friends, to provide sectors related information to your children. And second point is the sectors education. Sectors education should be adopted in all schools from first primary up to higher level. Sector, it has been included in the school curriculum, proper sectors education help in removing myths and misconceptions about various sectors related aspects related to organs change during the adolescence. You all know various changes take place when the man attains the age of poverty, age of this adolescence, in a the these sexual hormones develop in a attraction of the sex this sectors and other in female breast development in male male testes develop, start the symbol and in also female menstrual cycle takes place. So the sex education is very much necessary. Necessary. It is very much necessary. And change during the adolescence, hormones of early sex, hygiene, sexual practices. Another point is the social evil. Social evils. You all know sex abuse and sex related crimes can occur only due to reproductively healthy members of the society. Therefore, separating messages of the reproductive health is important. Family welfare information, fertility couples, and all other persons of the marriageable age must be must be educated about the available both control options, reasons for fertility control, care of would be mothers. Post 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 care of mother, child 
importance of breastfeeding, providing equal opportunities to male and female children, and desired size of the family where, where every child can be given due attention, care, and education. And another point is that uncontrolled population. You all know that population increases rapidly, but there is limited space, land, air, and this means that disturbance occurs. The population increases rapidly. We cannot chop it. The disturbance occurs in the in the eco, ecological imbalance starts uncontrolled, uncontrolled population. The horrible effects of the uncontrolled population explosion must be known to every day, everybody. One should not only be responsible but also act responsible citizen. And another point is the marriage of age. I Child marriage have been banned in India. The minimum marriageable age is now 21 years for boys and 18 years for girls. And under is the second generation. Second generation is prohibited, banned in India. Because so many you see the mother's farm through ultrasonic blocking. If they, if they found the female is, is fetus in the mother's farm, they go for the abortion. They kill the I mean, so imbalance takes place. If, if we do this, there is there's a new strategy ban on determination, sexist, determination of the fetal sex through amniocentesis, determination of chromosome number, types of cells found in amniotic fluids, and chromosome numbers, types of cells through, through sonograph. And we see that in amniocentesis, we see it is the method see that any any abnormality of the child if if they if the if the fetus suffered that any caligal syndrome, down syndrome, yeah, any genetic disease, then we go for abortion. But some people see that female child did not want to female child, they go for the this they go for the abortion. So another point the infrastructure. Strong infrastructure facilities, strong infrastructure facilities, professional expertise, material support are required to attain the proper reproductive health through providing access to reproductive access to assistance in reproductive health related problems like pregnancy, delivery, contraception, abortion, menstrual problems, infertility, sexually transmitted diseases. And under is the research. You all know research is improved. Research into improved techniques of contraceptives is a continuing process. You all know malady, sehili, and new non stride contraceptive. Once a weak pill has been developed by Central Drug Institute, like now India, better awareness of sex related matters, increase the facilities for metal and child care, more medically assisted deliveries, better detection and cure. In a sexually transmitted diseases, STDS, sexually transmitted diseases, small families and more medical facilities for sex related problems are improved, improving the relative health of the society. So, dear student, this was the relative health. How we maintain the relative health? Awareness of the reproductive health and and this was the first component and 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 tomorrow we will go for another component of the reproductive health. So dear students, thank you all.